Guys, this is just a, a quick video about uh, steel braided hoses, these things here. Now, I understand the benefit that they're fantastic, they're strong, good pressure resistance, good abrasion resistance. They're really great, they're really great things. But I would say they're not good in an engine bay generally. I would only use these outside and I'll explain why. We've got this one here, this braided hose line. And this is coming down the side of the engine and it's coming up to where the uh, oil filter is. So I, I presume this is going to be the oil feed going to the turbo, which is all great. We've got another one here, but I can tell you what, you've got major problems if you're out on these in an engine bay. Because no, if they rub against anything, what they're rubbing against is going to lose. It's going to have holes in it. So I'll give you an example. This hose made a hole in the air conditioning uh, high pressure hose there from friction. So I put some uh, silicone uh, vulcanizing tape around it to stop that. It also, when it went around the back, it had scratched almost a hole in this hose just because of the movement. If we come along here, this is not so bad because it is clamped to the engine bay, so there's not that much movement with regards to the hose versus the engine bay and the cables. But nevertheless, there is some. So I put my finger around all the places where this hoses, touches, cables, plastic fittings or whatever. And while it was nothing badly damaged, you could tell that things were a little bit scuffed by these hoses. And for that reason, I personally would not fit these in an engine bay. I, again, if it's going outside the car or if it's exposed to road debris and what have you, fair enough. But inside the engine bay, you've got to be so careful that these things are not rubbing on anything. Very careful that they're not rubbing anything. Luckily, this side only goes to here. This one, you can see what I've done. I've put some plastic, uh, this cable sleeving over it. And this seems to be holding up fine. And I've just sleeved it over the entire length of this hose. So this hose is no longer in contact with any of the cables, plastic fittings or anything like that. And I would say that will probably be good forever, touch wood. So that, that's it guys, that's a, just a quick video on why I don't like these, because basically they will, if, you have to be careful that they're not touching anything in the engine bay, or it's gonna cause damage, it's gonna wear holes in things, God forbid it wears into a cable, you get a short, etc., etc. If you are gonna do it, either be ultra super careful that it's not touching anything, literally not touching anything, or in my case, I put this and I, it's been fine. I've got no heat problems using this uh, cable routing sleeve, whatever you want to call it. No heat problems with that. And again, all the wear is going to go into the plastic and not into the, into the component that it's rubbing against. This I would not recommend in a place where there's a lot of movement. So for example, where the engine is moving and it's connected to something rigid, so you get the movement between the engine and the bit that's stationary in the engine bay, for example, a washer bottle, these hoses here. That, there's only one solution to that in my opinion, and that is to make sure that the cable itself does not touch.